Hey everyone, the name is Eric Dorn. In today's video, we're talking INTJ development stages. And what you'll find out is, yeah, you're not born a mastermind. You become one through, of course, uh, working at and putting your best effort at things, growing yourself, developing yourself, learning more about yourself. And uh, what I've found is that according to the spiral dynamics model, people tend to develop in stages. So we tend to start out at a certain point and we tend to start out with a certain set of beliefs and ideas. And uh, the first stage for an INTJ to come into is just that awareness that, yeah, I exist. First, you're only aware of your own existence. You're only aware of your own understanding. You're only aware of your own awareness and conceptualization of the world. Your only experience of the world is through yourself, your own theories, your own ideas, and your own insight. You have, you come from a from an egoic state almost of survival. Your entire views, uh, your beliefs, everything is just meant to keep you alive. You theorize about things only to protect yourself. Your answers, your insight, your vision, uh, where you're headed in life, your concept of the future is only based on keeping you alive. It's based on making sure you keep yourself safe, that you protect yourself, that you make sure you don't get hurt, to make sure that you stay afloat. And it's only when you start to recognize that uh, you have needs and aspirations beyond survival that you can progress to the other stage. And uh, here it is just that awareness of... Uh, family and of the tribe and of uh, other people what tends to happen is that we come to realize that we cannot survive on our own even if as introverts and introvert intuitives we tend to come from a state of our own we have to recognize that we need other people to survive and stay afloat and so we become aware of the tribe and of our family and of other people that can help us in this so we start recognizing that we are not islands, that we're not alone, that we need other people to, to some extent, maintain ourselves. And um, so you begin to see things from richer perspective. What happens every time you improve in a stage of development is you start to see more perspectives. So you start seeing the survival and experiences and beliefs and theories of other people. You start recognizing that other people also have ideas that can be valuable, that can help you, that can protect you, that can keep you moving forward in life. So you start developing a stronger voice of the other. You start gaining internalized beliefs that have been taught to you by your parents and by your siblings and by others in your close remote neighborhood. So you come to have ideas and theories, and you come to have thoughts, and you come to have visions that align with the family's needs and the family's values. So you start also recognizing that you set rules not just for yourself, but for other people. The rules you follow and the rules you set cannot, are not just about your own needs, it's also about your family and protecting them, and in return they protect you. So, you start developing a rational awareness of the world that is in many ways based on just that understanding of uh, what is smart for me and for my family. Now, this level, it only works for a while uh, because there are issues here and that, those issues are those of our own interest. We start to experience a struggle, a torn, because we start recognizing that sometimes we want things, sometimes we think things, sometimes we have ideas that go beyond our family and go beyond survival. And this is when we start developing our own identity, when we start recognizing that we have our own unique identity in the world, our own unique ideas, our own unique theories, uh, that our family does not always want the best for us, that they do not have all the answers, that their rules and their laws can only support us to some extent and that we need to come up with our own rules and we need to come up with our own lifestyle and we need to rationalize our own ex existence and we need to come up with our own reason for why we are here. So this is when we start once again aligning more with the voice of self. Basically, you start recognizing that, yeah, there are things I feel, there are things I think, there are things I have uh, come to learn 
that other people do not agree with and other people do not see the same way. And this is a cause of conflict between us and our parents, perhaps, or by our family or by our teachers, because sometimes these views go against the views of what people tell us. So because INTJs also come from a position of originality and often wisdom, just such the pursuit of wisdom at least, just searching for answers, just trying to explain why we're here, just trying to understand the world theoretically, just trying to formulate a vision or to understand the future, to reason and speculate about things, to gain a bigger map and system for the world and how it all fits together. They can feel like there's a clash and other people don't understand and other people don't get it and uh, other people are trying to force rules on us that we know are wrong and that won't work for us. So there can be a position of conflict here uh, because uh, yeah, what we are developing is our own self-esteem essentially. We're developing our idea that our own ideas and thoughts and what we do is valuable. Now this drives of course uh, the realization of identity but it has nothing to do with self-actualization because you're not actually achieving anything in this stage you're only forming your base theories your base values your base uh, uh, logical principles your first logical principles that align with who you are and that connect to your own identity and sense of self so it is in the Next stage, it is in the transformation stage that we start uh, understanding and aligning this uh, vision and these ideas and these principles with the system. We start recognizing to, that to achieve our future, to achieve our ideas, to pursue and study our theories in greater depth, we need to, to some extent, work with the system around us and uh, with the institutions around us, with the schools, with the people, with the... Uh, other people who have succeeded in the past we start recognizing we need the help of other people to succeed and we start recognizing we need to work together with other people so we become more adaptable and we become better at uh, aligning our principles with society this stage worked for a while but the problem with this stage is that at some point one, we have mastered everything, when we know everything, we have to get back to self and to the quest of realizing our vision. At this point, we have an understanding of the system, we understand not just our own rules, but we understand how the world works to some extent. We have gained some understanding of uh, the principles of life, uh, the, uh, we, have we have developed a rational understanding of the universe, we have some base concept of uh, its laws and its structure and its form and why it works the way it does. And in this, we can start recognizing what our role is in this. What can we do to further the future of this society? What can we do to make an impact here? What, can, what rules can we make to make the world better and work more efficiently? What laws and principles can we understand and explain to other people to make the world a better place? What can we do? Um, what the, how can our theories and explanations uh, provide some meaning to the world and to how things are. So, as this happens, we start moving towards uh, internal cohesion and we start moving to uh, developing some kind of uh, stronger and more principled sense of self. We start becoming better at saying, this is what I believe, this is what we should do. And look at me, man, I've studied this for a long time, I know what I'm talking about, I know the system, I know how it works. So trust me, based on this, that I can make things better. So we start actually putting our principles to practice, and this is when we start actually actualized, becoming actualized. Uh, actualization is the awareness of self, it's the awareness of the world, it is awareness of our impact and significance to the world, and what we can do, and what as individuals how we can contribute to the state of the world and it is uh, it leads to actualization this stage leads to actualization to the point where we feel we have made a contribution where we have had an impact on the world and how it works and how it flows so you think at this point we're done but then there comes other stages and that is really just uh, understanding the world we have made and that we have been a part of making 
understanding the culture, understanding the society, understanding the system, understanding how we have influenced the system, this gives us a new realization, that is that uh, how do other people influence the system? If I made this, what do other people do? What can other people achieve? So we start recognizing that we can uh, build stronger strategic alliances with other people and partnerships, we can uh, create bonds with other people, we can understand what other people can do and we can nurture them, we can find people who are and want to achieve similar things and we can help support them in doing what they want to do. So we can recognize people that have new theories, new ideas and recognize their importance. At this point, up till this point, we've only seen the importance of our own ideas and our own beliefs, but in this we start recognizing that there are laws and principles and science and awareness and critical thinking in other people that can be of importance to the future of humanity and of the vision and of progressing our vision and our utopia. So our utopia becomes not just uh, what we have in mind for the world, but also what we see that other people can achieve for the world. Finally, we start understanding synergy and uh, we start understanding the whole of everything. We start understanding how people interact and how we can influence this, uh, this society, this, this system, this humanity in a positive way. We start recognizing what we can say and do to guide the progress of humanity and how we can make sure things progress according to our vision. We can start understanding everybody's different visions and ideas. At this point we know what other people want and what other people can do and what they are capable of. We understand their strengths better, we understand their skills, we understand their talents, we understand their potential. So we start working in synergy with the world and with all the different systems that we see in the world. We are, uh, our understanding of systems becomes more diverse because there is not just one system, there are multiple systems interacting together, multiple components, the markets, the society, the uh, law, the uh, political scale, the different small sub-organizations. We start recognizing where where it's important to be, where it's important to act, what it's, and uh, how everything is working and uh, how everything is interconnected. So, as you progress on every stage, your rules become smarter. The rules and the beliefs you have become more accountable. Of different nuances, of different levels in society, of different people, of different possibilities. Uh, your theories become more complex and refinated as you realize that yeah, the world is bigger than you thought. Every time you go across a new development stage it's like BAM! Wow! I never even thought about this. It's like a realization, a grander insight, not just a small insight, but it's a grander insight of Wow, it's bigger than I thought. It's more interesting than I even could have fathomed in the past. I, why did I not? How did I not know this world existed? It's like recognizing a new world, finding a new place, finding a new system. Your concept of the system becomes more refined, so you can set more complex rules, more nuanced rules. You can become you can your awareness of the future becomes more long term. You can think longer scale. Uh, at first you could perhaps only think a few weeks ahead, perhaps after that a few months, or perhaps the next stage a few, <laughs> a year, perhaps the stage after that, uh, perhaps at some point you get to a point where you can think in decades. And uh, you become increasingly long term, you become increasingly strategic, but also your understanding of the principles of the world, the laws and the systems and all those things become more sharp. Your awareness of things as 9TJ become more sharp. You start understanding uh, the more subtle mechanics inside things. You start seeing how everything works, how everything, uh, every single small principle uh, that the whole world rests upon. And you start understanding how to influence things with more nuance. I think INTJ start out quite rough with thinking and judging. They start uh, with strong, strict rules and very simple principle pr uh, rules, but they go towards increasing complexity. The rules become uh, much more pragmatic. They take more account to the system and how things work. They, uh, they go from trying to push on this simple rule that they think will solve everything to recognizing in the next stage that this rule would not solve everything and would cause some problems and that we need to take account of some things to make sure it works perfectly. So the development of an INTJ just shows you, yeah, 
you're not finished, you're not done yet, you've got a long way to go, every stage is going to teach you something and uh, you don't start out with a perfect mastery of introverted intuition or introverted thinking or thinking judging or intuitive judging, but it goes in levels and that's all fine and good. Just focus on what you can do at your current level, at your current stage, how you can keep accelerating your growth, how you can keep practicing, learning, mastering, uh, creating projects, creating strategies, uh, thinking ahead. Just keep working every time, every day on your cognitive functions and on your development. You'll become smarter, you'll become better, you'll become more productive and yeah, you will grow. And uh, Remember, all growth comes from acceptance, just knowing who you are, where you are right now, and being accepting of yourself and your current situation. Thanks everybody for watching this video. If you liked it, leave a like, share, subscribe with other INTJs that you think could use or benefit from this. And visit my patreon.com slash ericdor website to leave a donation or to support me in making new videos or new content. Thanks everybody, and I hope to see you all in the next video.